In this example, we have a person who bowls a bowling ball that hits a pin. And then the bowling ball and the pin will both keep moving. So we're given masses of the bowling ball and pin, initial speed of the ball, and the coefficient of restitution. Now the pin is static, so we know that its initial velocity is just going to be zero. Vp1 equals zero. We have the diagram and we have positive x direction. So looking at this, we know that there are no external forces involved with the motion of this impact. Therefore, momentum is conserved. We also know that all of the motion occurs in the x direction. So this is a central impact collision. So we only need equations for the x direction. And since E is 0 0.9, we know that the objects do not stick together. So we can write out conservation of momentum. We'll have MB VB1 plus MP VP1 equals MB VB2 plus MP VP2. Well, we, we know the pin is static initially, so we can cross this one out. But we have two unknowns, VB2, VP2. So we need the E equation. E equals negative VP2 minus VB2 over VP1 minus VB1. So if we put numbers into here, then we can say five times 15. And we know this is a positive 15 because it's going in the positive x direction. Equals five VB2 plus one VP2. And then E equation, we know that 0 0.9 equals negative VP2 minus VB2 over negative 15. So then these negative signs cancel and we can rearrange to say 15 times 0.9 equals VB2 minus VP2. That equals 13.5. So V V2. Hang on, I think I messed something up here. Okay, I don't remember what happened. Anyway, we should end up with VB2 plus 13.5 equals VP2. So we take this and we plug in over here, then we'll have five VB2 plus VP2, which we get from this equation, which is VB2 plus 13.5 equals 
75. So 6VB2 equals 61.5. VB2 equals 10.25 meters per second. This is positive, so we know it is to the right. Okay, so the bowling ball slowed down a little bit, which makes sense because it ran into something. So it was going 15, it hit something, now it's only going 10.25. Now if we take this, plug it back in over here, 10.25 plus 13.5 equals VP2, 23.75 meters per second equals VP2 which is also to the right. So the pin just kind of goes flying, which also makes sense because that's what you happen, what happens when you hit the pin with the bowling ball. So to recap this problem, we recognize that with no applied forces, then momentum is conserved. And this is a central impact collision because it is only one dimensional. So we wrote the conservation of momentum equation and the E equation, and then we plug the numbers in, substituted, solved out for the final velocities.